This is the podcast to help you get ready for the quiz over the solar system and the sun coming up soon. If you haven't taken a chance yet to fill out the study guide, I do always encourage you to fill it out before watching the podcast. However, if you are crunched for time, you can fill it out as you go along. We're going to start out by looking at the Popcan solar system. There's one major topic on there, and that is what does the force of gravity depend on? We, of course, have learned that it is mass and distance. We especially saw in that investigation that when the uh, mass of the planet is much, much larger, for example, on Jupiter, we saw that the can had a much higher weight, which is dependent on gravity. Of course, the distance has an impact too. However, we can assume that since it's on the surface, that the mass is the greater impact. The next investigation to take a look at was the sun. There are two topics on there. The first was, how does the sun produce energy? That, of course, is through nuclear fusion. That is the process in which two atomic nuclei combine to form a larger nucleus, forming a heavier element and releasing huge amounts of energy. And this is the process by which energy is produced in all stars. The second one was, what causes magnetic storms on the sun? Those, of course, are solar flares, and those cause issues with things like um, your satellite TV, for example, it can actually cause it to go out when there's a solar flare coming, coming towards Earth. We also saw in the Destination Mars uh, video that we watched that it talked about the danger of the solar flares to those tra people traveling to Mars. Now the bulk of this quiz is focused on our solar system and looking at the planets. So let's start out with the first topic on there, which are what are the outer planets? Those are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And the next topic then is what do the outer planets have in common? They're called gas giants because they're all made out of gas, specifically made of mainly hydrogen and helium, which if you think about it, that's also what the sun consists of. They are larger than the earth and have multiple moons and have rings. They do not, have, however, have nuclear fusion, so that's why they are not a, uh, they don't have the issues of the same thing as the sun. Um, but they all do have rings. Even though you can't necessarily see them on some of them because they're very faint rings, there are rings on each of the outer planets. The next topic is what are the inner planets? They, are, of course, are Mercury, Venus, our very own Earth, and Mars. The inner planets have a few things in common, and that is they are all called terrestrial planets. That's because they have terrain or land that's visible, whereas the gas giants, they, of course, are all uh, composed of gas with a iron rocky or an iron core in the center but mainly gas they are made of rock for the inner planets and they're all very very small we'll uh, be able to take a look at that when we look at the data table then the next one is what planet used to have water on its surface it's a pretty simple answer and that is Mars how are Venus and Earth similar and different Let's look at the similarities first. We look at their size, density, and internal structure. They're all very three very similar. Um, the size of Earth and uh, Venus are so similar that we're sometimes called the sister planets. The densities are very similar as well. And the internal structure of the core and the tectonic plates, are uh, we've seen that those occur on both planets as well. There are a lot of differences, however. First of all, they rotate in opposite directions. The uh, planet Venus rotates much more slowly than Earth, so it has a much longer day. Venus has a very thick atmosphere. It's uh, very acidic as well and can destroy anything that goes through it. It also has a runaway greenhouse effect, so it's much, much hotter. And of course, it's also closer to the sun because the Earth is the farther planet from the sun. And Earth has liquid water on its surface. So there are a few more differences, however, there are uh, several similarities and differences that are very important between these two planets. Next question is what is a gas giant made of? I already touched on that and said that it's made of hydrogen and helium. Now it's able to have this hydrogen and helium because uh, the Sun did not blast them away. Uh, if you think about it, hydrogen and helium, they're both normally gases and uh, if you are heating a gas up, it does actually cause it to expand as we saw in our investigation. If it expands, it can blow away. Um, also, they have much higher gravity, so it helps to hold those gases in place. The next one is, what is the order of the planets? First of all, we'll go through them. It's Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, 
Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. A way to remember that, or a mnemonic to use, uh, that's very popular, is my very educated mother just served us nachos. That can help you to remember the order of the planets, kind of a goofy phrase that will help you out. If there's something else that helps you out, go ahead and use that as well. Next topic is what is a terrestrial planet? Of course, the name often given to the four inner planets means it's made of rock or has land. Now the last thing that you need to make sure you take a look at with this is you need to study the data table from our solar system. You will need to know trends, not detailed numbers. Basically what I'm trying to tell you is don't memorize the numbers. I'm not going to ask you to write down the mass of Mercury, for example. But I do want you to know, for example, which one's the biggest. And of course at that point, which is the smallest too. Um, what are which are about the same, which ones kind of have similarities, uh, patterns such as same colors or the same composition, uh, other you know key important factors. And we'll talk about a couple of those as we go through. Now I'm not going to go through everything on these slides. If you need to update some information in your data table, just pause the video and you can get it off of there. First of all, let's look at Mercury. Of course you can see that Mercury does not have any moons and does not support life. It's also very, very small. Venus talked about that already has the runaway greenhouse effect but it's very very similar to Earth in fact we can see it has a diameter of 12,000 kilometers and when we look at Earth we can see it's about 12,000 kilometers as well for Mars you can see the basic characteristics of it, it does have those two moons it's very important it has an atmosphere of carbon dioxide for Jupiter few interesting things about it of course is the largest of the planets and it also has a giant red or a great red spot which is actually a giant storm that is bigger than Earth it's like a hurricane going across there Saturn interesting planet here has rings made of rock and ice and even more interesting it's actually the least dense of all of them it's actually less dense than water so if I threw Saturn in a big enough bathtub it float um, not something you normally think of but uh, it is a very very uh, low density planet Uranus is an interesting planet as well. It actually rotates differently. It rotates on its side. Typically we think of the uh, rotation being uh, upright like planet Earth. However, Uranus is actually rotated 90 degrees. Neptune, very similar to Uranus, of course, in color. Uh, some similarities as well with uh, some of the other outer planets. Pluto, it's a dwarf planet. We've talked about that already. Titan, interesting moon of Saturn our moon, which of course does not have any moons, and Halley's Comet. Of course, at this point, uh, this is actually the end of the podcast. If you have any questions, you can go on to my big campus and ask them on there, or ask them in class. As always, I recommend that you go through, hopefully you're preparing early, uh, take the practice quizzes, and ask your parents to help you to study. Going through this stuff with someone else always helps to give you good success. Again, if you have any questions, go ahead and log on to my big campus and ask them on there or in class.